Hello, thank you for joining me today on Stacey Lee Beauty. I want to go over my top 10 palettes that I have for fall. I'm going to rank them for you. So let's start off with, I have a few in here that I've never tried, but I'll explain why I have them included in this video. Number 10 is the IT Cosmetic Superhero. And I have not used this palette yet. I'll take off the plastic here for you. And I haven't actually used much of IT makeup. So I have it on here because I think that these colors are gorgeous for fall. And I think that this would be a nice palette because you have these top colors up here, which are eyeshadows, but I feel like you could really get away if you using this palette for your entire face, because some of these colors you could use for blush. And I feel like those you could use for highlighter and powder. So that is why I have it included in this video, even though I haven't tried it, I think that this would be a great one to have on hand for fall and that you could use it in multiple ways and for your full face. This is a little bit pricey. This is $42 and I will be inserting some swatches of this so you can see. So this is the Superhero Pigment Power Technology Palette and it just feels so soft and yes, I like that. And as I'm going through these, if there is any palette that you would like to see a video dedicated on, let me know down below and I will work on getting a video up just on that palette. Another one that I have not tried, but I've tried other things from this brand. So that is why it's included. This is the Profusion Cosmetics Mixed Metals Glam. And this one I did get at Marshall's. So this exact one is not still available, but if they're not available, I'm including it because you may be able to find it at Marshall's. Let me take off that plastic. So here is this, again, this is Profusion Cosmetics Mixed Metals Glam. And I just feel like you could find something similar to this if you look at the Profusion or check out your Marshall's or TJ Maxx. I got it there not too long ago, so you might be able to still find this one. I tried before from Profusion is the glitters, or the shimmers, excuse me. And I've been really happy with them, and I've heard such great things about Profusion, so I felt like this was a safe bet to put in here. Number eight is Makeup Revolution, the Emily Edit, the Wants. And this is a large palette. I did do a video with three looks with this. I will link that up above and down below. Sorry, I'm not used to wearing turtlenecks and especially not yet in the season. And, but anyway, I digress. So here is the colors in this one. And I feel like you could really create tons and tons of looks with this. It is endless. Now I will say the thing with this palette is you some of the colors do go on a little bit light, so you do have to work on building them up. I feel like with this palette, what brushes you use is very important. I noticed that when I use a more dense, compact brush, I get more color payoff than when I use a light, fluffy brush, which is for a lot of shadows, but I specifically noticed that a lot with this palette. So if you do have this palette, I would say, you know, just be conscious of what brushes you're using because it really does affect how these apply. This one is $20. And as far as if you purchase at Ulta, this one is included usually in the weekly coupons that they send out. Next one is Cargo Cosmetics and this is Emerald City. And I did do a video, it's been a while, but on this brand, this palette specifically. And unfortunately this one is not available readily. But the reason that I'm including it is when I was searching, there were some sites online that you can still get this. It's just not widely available. With the browns and greens, I just don't know how you can't think fall when seeing these colors. And green is going to be a really big color for this fall. So I think that this is a perfect palette. You can really create, they aren't going to be your bright pow, like bright, bright greens, but they are some pretty greens in here. It's a good neutral palette. This one is another one that I haven't tried, but I've tried other 
shadows from e.l.f. So I really feel like I'm safe in including this as my top 10 because I have been really impressed with e.l.f. shadows. There is some mattes in here and a little bit more of the shimmers over here. You have a little bit more shimmer and then your mattes. And I just think that this is a gorgeous palette. And with the price tag of $12, I mean, you could just create so, so many looks with it. It's this. so lightweight, it's kind of crazy because you look at it and I feel like with how it looks with them, it looks like it would be a kind of a heavier metal, but it's super lightweight. Number five is Doll Hospital's Cosmetics. This is Obtrusive Thoughts. And again, I will put a video, I'll link that up above of a video that I did on palettes, the first impressions. I have this one and another one from the brand. So I will link that up above. Here is the colors. And I feel like this one is a little different than the other ones. There's a lot of neutrals and browns, but this is the berry colors. And I picked this because I feel like we always think of green and browns for fall, but I really think that berries are a good one to throw in the mix for fall colors and fall looks. And I was very happy with the payoff of these colors in the pigmentation of them, $24. This Essence one, this is the most affordable one that I have on my list. This is $9.99 in Spice Up Your Spice Up Your Life. So of course that screams fall. This is 20 shadows and you don't need any other palette with this because you have that vanilla bean that could really be your base color. So I feel like you could do a lot of looks with this without having to add another palette this alone. Throw this in your bag and create a lot of looks with this. I really love these two colors together, that color combination. I have been very happy. I've qu used quite a few Essence products lately and I'm just so impressed with their quality. It's so reasonable and they're just really pigmented. I am very, very happy with it. Number three, this one is another one that's not available, but I think that you might still be able to find it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture. I just feel like I was on the fence if I should include this one or not since it's not readily available. But I mean, how can you not think of fall when you think of these colors? I just love this. And I was thinking about doing a video, let me know if you think this sounds interesting, of comparing, I have the Norvina and the subculture of comparing these two. Would you be interested in seeing that or not necessarily since this one's not available? I wasn't sure, let me know. But I just love these colors. This electric color is my absolute favorite of this palette i'm definitely trying to, on the hunt for a dupe for this one just love it and then the untamed well, actually this whole corner over here i just love too but i know that some people when this first came out had some problems with it and yes there is some fallout but i have been very happy with it number two is the balm and this one is $36 and the balm is mostly sold at Kohl. This is part of my pan project. I haven't been doing real good on the pan projects, but I'm trying. But this one is a very good neutral. Again, you have your white and your pale colors, so you can kind of just create all kinds of looks with this. You have a black, so you can really bright, darken up the colors. If you just wanted to use this palette, you can create a lot of looks by just darkening with the black. And I've done another video on the balm that I will include. I love their shade names like sassy, stubborn, snotty, silly, sophisticated. I just think that it's, and the black is serious. I just think that's so cute. And my number one palette for the fall. This is probably my number one palette just in general, not necessarily just for the fall because I absolutely love this palette. And that is the Makeup Revolution Sophie Extra Spice palette. And I did do a video with this as well, the three looks, and here are the colors. I just absolutely love this palette. It is $15, and you can use the Ulta coupons on it, and I just love it. Any look that I've created with this, I've tried most of the colors by now, and any look that I've created, they're just so pigmented, they are long lasting, easy to work with, easy to blend, easy to build up if you want. I just can't say enough things. This is, I just love this palette. Sure which one to get? I would definitely recommend. I did get recently the Rachel Leary. So I'm going to compare the Rachel Leary this in the Emily edits. I thought that that would be a fun video. Let me know if you agree. But so far I've used the Rachel one once and I've used the Emily some 
and this one some. And I definitely, so far, this is just my absolute favorite. I just can't say enough good things about this palette. I think that it performs with high quality and just love, love, love. So, and for $15, like, it's awesome. So those are my top picks of my palettes that I have in my collection for fall. Again, I'd love to know down below if there's any of these palettes you want to see a video dedicated to. And do you agree that these are some great palettes for fall or what's your favorite? I would love to know down below and get a conversation started. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.